Welcome to Rejoicing Heart Ministries. We hope everyone is having a great day. This is Robin Donna Litwin here to encourage you with the Word of God. Today we have a teaching about the joy you get through knowing the Word of God. Our reading is from Psalm chapter 119, verse 111. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. Today's teaching is called Word of Joy. Our reading today speaks about the heritage of the Word of God or the Holy Bible. Heritage is something passed down through generations by tradition or inheritance. The heritage of the Word of God, which stood the test of time and is still alive even today, when understood, causes rejoicing of the heart. This Psalm, chapter 119, which is the longest chapter in the Holy Bible, just so happens to mention the Word of God in every verse. This was not done by coincidence. It was done on purpose. Knowing that the longest chapter in the whole Bible mentions the Word of God in every verse should immediately tell you the importance of the Word of God. The Word of God, the Holy Bible, is an instruction manual for life. If you do what it instructs you to do, you will have nothing but good things in your life. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Here in this verse, Joshua was told personally by God how important the word is and the benefits from meditating on it. Even though God did not instruct Joshua to read it, it is obvious if you are going to meditate on something, you must read it first and put it into your heart so you know what you are meditating on. At this time, when Joshua was instructed on the importance of the word of God, he only had the first five books of the Bible, which Moses wrote. If God told Joshua that prosperity and success come from meditation on the books of the Bible that Moses wrote, how much more powerful is the Holy Bible today with God's Word coming right out of Jesus' mouth and written for our benefit? We not only have the written Word of God today, but when you are a born-again believer in Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, you also have the Holy Spirit inside you. The first letter of Paul to the Corinthians Chapter 6, verse 19 says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you? Now, take what Joshua was told and apply it to your life today. Meditate on the Word of God and be a doer of the Word by following its instructions, and you are guaranteed to be prosperous and have good success. Your prosperity today and good success is solely dependent on what Jesus did for you, not on what you do for yourself. First, you must be saved. To be saved, you must do what Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says to do, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Confessing Jesus only with your mouth will not get you saved. You must truly believe it in your heart. If you confess it, but you are uncertain about believing it, you need to follow the instructions God gave Joshua to believe it. This is explained in Romans chapter 10 verse 17. So then, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Faith comes by hearing the Word of God. This is the same thing God told Joshua, that good success and prosperity come by meditating on the Word of God, but today you can receive so much more through Jesus. You have an inheritance, and you are a joint heir with Jesus, which is written in Romans chapter 8, verse 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Along with being an heir, you also have resurrection power inside of you. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 19 says, And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward, who believe, according to the working of his mighty power? Here are only two examples of all the amazing things you receive through the word of God. There is so much more to receive through the word of God, such as forgiveness of sins, perfect health, deliverance from evil, and personally knowing Jesus better. The Word of God, the Holy Bible, will enable you to have an intimate relationship with Jesus. When you have intimate relationship with Jesus, you know His character, and you can hear Him talk to you. You know it's Him talking to you because you know Him through His Word, and everything He says or does is completely in line with His Word. When you know Him and His Holy Spirit dwells in you, you understand things better, like the fruit of the Spirit that are in you. These fruit inside of you are love, because God is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, 
meekness, and temperance. These nine fruit are characteristics of God, and throughout the Word of God, you can see them clearly as you get to know Jesus better. Joy is a fruit of the Spirit. Remember, it is inside you. And the more you renew your mind through the Word of God and understand the Holy Spirit in you, the more you will operate in these fruit throughout your life. The Apostle Paul prayed for you to be filled with joy and peace in Romans chapter 15, verse 13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Knowing all this, you should desire to get into the Word, read it, meditate on it, and apply it in your life. The more you know the Word, the more you know Jesus, because Jesus is the Word. John chapter 1 verse 14 says, And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Now, knowing that, through the Word of God, you are able to know and have intimate relationship with Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit in you, which gives you the fruit of the Spirit, and the resurrection power of Jesus, you should be rejoicing like the person that wrote Psalm 119. This joy was expressed in Psalm 119, verse 14. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies, as much as in all riches. Your riches that you have through Jesus are something this psalmist couldn't even consider when they wrote Psalm 119. So you should be infinitely more joyful than he was. In closing, the Apostle Peter, who had the privilege right here on earth to spend time with Jesus and get to know him, wrote that it is better to know Jesus by faith and the word of God. Peter's first letter, chapter 1, verse 8 says, Whom having not seen, ye love, in whom, though now, see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice, with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Peter also gave insight to what happens the more you get to know Jesus. The second letter of Peter, chapter 1, verse 2 says, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Knowing God, which happens by knowing the Word of God, multiplies grace and peace in your life. This multiplication of grace and peace causes you joy unspeakable and makes you do what the Apostle Paul told you to do in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Father, thank you for your Word, which blesses us with abundant joy through knowing you better. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Thank you for listening to Rejoicing Heart today. If this teaching has blessed you, please consider becoming a monthly partner to help us increase the ways we are proclaiming the Word of God. This is easy to do. Just visit our website at rejoicingheart.net. We thank you for your support. We leave you with more encouragement from the Apostle Paul from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.